Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the AAC Championship game here in the Charlotte 49ers Dynasty. Look at this. Eight straight wins after being 4-0-4, oh I should say. And you can just see, like, some of these teams that we lost to early on ended up being 2-10 in Nevada, Nevada ended up being six and six but then we just dominated in conference play here are the players of the weeks for the regular season i haven't shown it much this year but a lot of guys did do well on other teams except you know a couple of teams in our conference i think we all did pretty well and then brian rochford finally won his first ever in, in last week's game versus boston college where he had that gutsy comeback win and we come into this game playing usf we already beat them once this year, but their star player, Kelly Joyner Jr., is out. So that means they will have to depend on a redshirt freshman running back. But they do have a senior at quarterback in Jordan McLeod. He could be playing, I don't know, it may be his final game because if they lose his game, they're 6-7. and seven. Are they still bowl eligible at that point? I think that not all 6-6 six and six teams end up being bowl eligible, but they did make it to the conference championship, so they still might be. Now, Kelly Joyner Jr. is out, but he is followed up by Josh Jones. 617 yards since taking over, seven touchdowns as well. Actually, not too bad for a redshirt freshman coming in. They have a very good receiving core. Everybody can do a job there for them. And then their star defensive player, Stacy Kirby. He already had two sacks in our first matchup. We'll have to see if we can contain him this time. Here we are at MetLife Stadium. Let's get the conference championship underway. Hopefully this game goes better than last year's Conference USA championship as we lost that game versus App State. Here's Dallas and take back the opening kickoff and he takes it to about the 34 yard line. Now I apologize for the end zone. Now I downgraded my RP, uh, what is it? RPS CP3, whatever it is. Uh, the emulator for the PS3. I downgraded it to a version that should work with the end zone. Still not working though. As Jordan McLeod opens up with a sack. That's D Brown Jr. getting to the quarterback. Here's a quick throw across the middle. This is gonna be caught by Holden Willis. Gain of 13 yards, first down. They have a slew of receivers who can do pretty much everything. They come out five wide. Here's McLeod taking it up the middle. A little quarterback blast on that play. It's a gain of three. So now here we go, third and three this time. Let's see if we can come with a stop. McLeod from the shotgun throws to his running back out of the backfield. Big time hit. And it's going to be Vincent Youngblood playing in one of his last games here. He gets the stop. So the seniors out at quarterback, here is Raj for his first pass. And across the middle, it's gonna be Christopher Dalton. It's a gain of 13, first down for the tight end. Now Dalton has dropped a lot of passes in his career, but he's been actually very good this season. As now we get it to about the 35, play action fake again. Raj for throws, and he's got Kung Yashu getting hit on the throw as well. That's kind of been a signature thing with Rochford. When he gets hit on throws, it's really accurate. He waits to the last possible moment at times. Quick throw across the middle now. It's another catch, another first down, gain of 21 this time to Devon Cash, who leads all receivers in receiving yards this season. What a junior year he's having now. His Rochford's under center, handoff, Terrence Pitt out on the stretch. This time waits for a blocker, that's DJ Washington downfield, who does pick up the block, take another look at that. A nice play downfield, first and goal. Roch for now under center, handoff, Terrence Pitt Howard. What a great opening drive for Charlotte. It's a touchdown, seven nothing here for the number 24 team in the nation. So we did come up with a stop there on their first drive. Let's see what we can do this time. Here's McLeod running an option and he gets taken down. Darius Moss, he's been injured for a lot of the year. He gets the tackle right there and he's back and healthy. It looks like it and that's a loss of two. Third and 12, looks like McLeod has to get rid of it before he had to, and that's Dollison who has the catch. But take a look at the pressure up the middle. That was D. Brown Jr. getting after the quarterback. So D. Brown is playing in his last game as well. There's a, a second to last game, I should say. There are a lot of seniors on this team that we are gonna be missing next year that are starters. Is now Rochford back and onto the field. He's gonna hand off this time to Terrence Howard up the middle. Cutting back a little bit. 
and he finds a little bit of room. It's a gain of six. First down for him. Now remember the offense does change next year. We change anytime there's a new coordinator or a or every two years, whichever comes first. And here is Rochford. This time he throws out of bounds. Pressure was right there. Third and 10 this time. Running Matt Brooks in motion. Quick throw across the middle. It's Dalton who can't hold on. You got to hold on to that one in the big game. Ryan Rochford starts out four of nine. So here comes McLeod back out onto the field now. Four wide receivers out there. They're going to hand it off to Jones, the redshirt freshman, and he picks up just a gain of four. Tackled by Chase Rollins, who's actually had an excellent year this year, along with Jacob Ariola at safety. Third and six. Another handoff. Jones not going to get there. They may not be having faith in their passing game because they're trying to run the ball with Jones. I guess that's been their bell cow since Joyner went out. So here we go back on offense. Here's a quick throw to the right side, and it's Devon Cash who was open. It's a gain of 12 as we begin the second quarter with a first down. So now they send the blitz. Here's Rochford trying to get rid of it. It's a sack. They send the all-out blitz, and Jason Vaughn gets to Rochford, and he is actually shaken up on that play. So Jeffrey Johnson, the backup quarterback, comes in while Rochford gets checked out on the sideline. Third and 18, throwing, open man, incomplete. The chemistry wasn't there on that throw, and that's what happens when a new quarterback comes into the game. So now here we are on defense back again at their own 20, handing off Jones, big time run, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, and he gets to about the 45 yard line on that carry. It's a big gain on that one, the biggest gain of the day for USF. Running the option this time. Jones gets it on the pitch, and that is going to be another big gain. Pushed out of bounds at the 23. It's a first down. Perfect timing on that pitch by McLeod. And now they're inside the red zone. From the shotgun, we send the nickel blitz. Here's a throw to the sideline, though. Dollison's got it, and he just picks up enough for the first down. USF is driving here, running a receiver in motion, five wide, quick throw, touchdown. Chris Carter gets into the end zone, their tight end. Five of six to start this game for McLeod, and it looks like throwing the ball, they did really well on that drive. It's seven up. So here comes the All-American Brooklyn Santana as a returner back to receive this one. He has space, he hits the hole hard, gets to about the 40, the 50, and pushed out of bounds. At about the 48-yard line, good field position to start off this drive. So here's Kung Yashu running in motion this time. Keeping it is Rochford moving, throwing Santana and dropped. I think that's the one thing with Santana. He needs to get better at his route running and holding on to the football. The second and 10, handoff. Terrence Pitt Howard cuts to the left side, picks up a first down as well, reaching for the first down sticks. So Rochford... Looks like he's been leaning on Terrence Pitt Howard this drive a little, little bit more. Here's a handoff to him, a gain of six. That was a wide open hole as well. Give it right back to him. Once again, third and two, another big hole. And that's a gain of 10. First down. Now we're inside the red zone. Eight for 56. Seven yards per carry for Terrence Pitt Howard. So two minutes left here in the first half. Rochford throws. Open man. It's Kung Yashu who falls at about the five. We're threatening to score now. It's goal to go. So we come out here under center this time. We bring in Alexander Wynn at fullback. Looks like we have the toss play call. We're gonna to toss it out. It's Enzi Labana into the game. He walks in, touchdown. 14-7, giving them the ball back with under a minute to go. And now we are in the driver's seat, 14-7 here. Let's see if we can stop McLeod again. We've had a couple of stops so far this first half. Here's Holden Willis with the first catch. And that picks up about nine. Already across the 50 now with 42 seconds to go. They stopped the clock on that last play. McLeod takes off. He's got space. A lot of it. And he breaks a tackle. Falling forward. It's a gain of 13. USF calls their first time out here at 30 seconds, 36 seconds left. Here's a quick throw to the sideline. Again, there's Holden Willis. They've been going to him quite a bit here in the first half. 32 seconds to go now at the 28. McLeod tries to get rid of it. It's a sack. That's Billy Bugs, loss of seven, diving at the ankles that time. So third and nine, McLeod in the pocket, throws Evans, and he's got it. It's a first down. 
we had them right there, but the defense broke on that one, being a little too conservative with that zone. 22 seconds and running. McLeod, quick throw. Weaver breaking a tackle inside the 10, falling at the 7, gain of 17 yards. The clock is still running now. They have one timeout left. 12 seconds at the snap. McLeod in the pocket. Throws to Weaver again. Touchdown. Seven yards out, and USF ties this game before halftime, and McLeod actually breaks the touchdown record over Quinton Flowers, who was one of their great quarterbacks in the school's history. And that one will take us into halftime. 14 up, pretty much 0-0. Charlotte's played well, but we got to play better. Second half action underway as we are now a half away from our first conference championship in this series. Here's a toss play out to the right side, and that's NZ Labata, gain of nine. Now remember that both teams will get conference promotions after this game, no matter what. The top two teams from the AAC go on to the ACC. The bottom two teams from the ACC come down to the AAC, and then the top two teams from the Conference USA will come up to the American. Here's a throw out to the right side. That is Brian Rochford, who tries to find Brooklyn in another drop in this game. Third and 10 now, under center this time. Rochford, that's where he's comfortable in the pocket, moving out this time, stopping, throwing. It's an open Kung Yashu, making a man miss. Getting to about the 34 yard line, gain of 25 for Kung Yashu. It's been so fun having him as the outside receiver because I didn't expect it at all. I thought he was gonna be a future slot guy when we first had him. Here's a handoff, Terrence Pitt Howard. Another first down for him. He's closing in on 100 yards off of his 12th carry. So come out here with three wide receivers and a tight end in the backfield. Rochford throws, and it's picked off by Helton. He was looking for Devon Cash, who maybe had a step, but a great play undercutting that route by Helton. And he goes for the interception and gets it. And now USF takes back over. So now here we go on defense this time. Let's see if we can come up with another stop. McLeod tries to run the speed option. It's a stop. And that is Emmanuel Webb in the backfield, loss of three. Gotta love what Emmanuel Webb's done in his career. He's been just Mr. Steady. Hasn't really done a whole lot as far as like, hey, hey, make a real impact, but he's been pretty much like a five sack getter every single season as we stop them on third down. Another stop for our defense. How about the grittiness this game? Throw across the middle to start the next drive, Kung Yashu. Gain of 17, taking a major hit on that one. His fourth catch of the game, and that one's a first down. Rochford now back out onto the field at the 50. Here he is in the pocket, throwing to the sideline. Matt Brooks, the freshman, and he picks up a gain of 12. His first catch, a game of 15, his first catch of the game. So Alexander Wynn checks in at fullback. We're going to hand off to Enzi Labata this time. Clearing the way is Wynn, and he picks up enough for the first down. That's a gain of four. Now from the shotgun again, inside the red zone. Hopefully this time we take care of the football throwing. It's going to be Brooklyn Santana, gain of 17. And it's a first down. And now we're inside the five, threatening to score. So Terrence Spithauer checks back into the game now. Looks like we're going to hand off to him. He has a block by Wynn and follows him to the end zone. Touchdown. Seven-point lead here for Charlotte, and we do take the lead. It's now a seven-point game, 21-14. to 14. As now we start the fourth quarter. Here is Josh Jones running a little bit of wildcat for the USF team, and they do not get any yardage on that play. Darius Moss again. Second and 11, hand off to Jones. He cuts back and finds some space and does eventually get tackled by Vincent Youngblood. That brings up a third and three. Seven minutes to go here in this game. McLeod from the shotgun. He's going to take off right away, but he can't get away. It's stripped by D. Brown Jr. Picked up by Oakley, but take a look at the play of D. Brown. Just the effort and look at the arm. Comes in, strips the ball out. And wow, 21 to 14, and we have possession. Great defensive play. How about this grittiness of this defense? They've done it all season long. Rochford throwing. It's going to be caught this time. Brooklyn Santana, gain of 17. That was a clean route 
on that play. Rochford takes another hit. Jeffrey Johnson comes into the game while Rochford had the win knocked out of him on that play. Johnson now. He loves to run the option and a little RPO action. He scrambles to the right side and only picks up a gain of three. It's funny how they knew to run a spy on that play since we had Jeffrey Johnson in the game. Here he is running the option, and he barely picks up a gain of five. It's a first down. So here we line up with two wide receivers to the right side. This time Johnson gets hit on the throw, and he had a couple of options open, but he is going to be shaken up. So Johnson's going to come out the game. If Rochford doesn't come back in, our emergency quarterback is Kung Yashu. So let's see what happens here. Who's going to check in? It looks like Rochford will. Now it's a third and six, four minutes to go. Rochford moving to the right side. He's going to throw at the last second. He's got Brooklyn. Who picks up the first down? It's a gain of about eight. And we do move the chains. This clock continues to run now as here we are under center. Rochford. He had a man open maybe for a touchdown and tries to throw it away, but instead pumps it and fumbles. The second red zone turnover by Rochford. That time it was an accident. We tried to throw it away, a pump fake instead, and we lose possession. So it looks like Jeffrey Johnson is going to be out for the game now as Rochford is the only healthy quarterback on our roster. Here's a quick throw to the right side. Jones has it, throws a stiff arm, still on his feet. And he gets to about the 50. Gain of 25 off of that play right there. And tough running by the redshirt freshman. McLeod this time throws to the sideline. Incomplete. Looking for his tight end. Kevin Knox was in coverage. So two minutes to go here. It's a third and 12. Here they go a five wide out there. McLeod, quick throw. Weaver again. It's a fourth down conversion now. They're going to have to go for it. Even Weaver is shaken up on that play so here we go this one could be the game here fourth and four a minute 30 to go they have all three timeouts quick throw Dollison's got it and he picks up the first down and the returner does pick up his third catch of the game so a minute 22 to go the clock is stopped here McLeod quick throw nice deflection and that is Octavius Oakley with the play he's playing in one of his last games of his career as well so now third and inches this time. Two tight ends out onto the field. McLeod throws to one of them. It's Carter. It's a gain of 18 inside the five. They're threatening to score. A minute and 15 to go. Now at the three. Here's McLeod, speed option. Pitches it out to Jones. And a great tackle by Darius Moss getting out to the edge. It's about a gain of maybe one. So second and goal, this clock is still running. They don't stop it. Here's McLeod in the pocket, throwing to left side, and it's picked off. That's Kevin Knox, the sophomore. He's got it in coverage in the second turnover of the day for this Charlotte defense, and Kevin Knox comes up with a huge play. And now here we go. One more first down wins it. Rochford actually was injured on the last drive. So that brings in our emergency quarterback, Kung Yashu. We can't throw the ball. We're going to have to run here. So third and 10 this time. If we convert the first down, we will win the Commerce Championship. We don't like the look that time. Kung Yashu calls the timeout. So we come back out here now for a third and 10. Running the option. Kung Yashu fakes it and keeps it and does pick up the first down. 13 yards and that one will do it. How about the blocking downfield? Matt Brooks was there. DJ Washington had his guy hemmed up, and that one will give us the victory. It is now a conference championship team in Charlotte. First time saying that here in this series. It's been a whole lot of fun this season, just grinding out wins, grinding out games. The defense has really reigned here. The in-commerce play, I would say, Nine straight wins after an 0-4 start, and USF loses twice to us. It's hard to beat a team twice in a year, but we did it. Rochford got hurt in this one. He should be okay for our bowl game. Jeffrey Johnson was also hurt for the game. We need more than two quarterbacks on the roster. That's for sure. We need more than three, I should say. JPE is done for the year. Terrence Pitt Howard, 
89 yards rushing, two touchdowns. Enzi Labata had a touchdown as well. And then Kung Yashu was excellent in this game on the outside. He had a couple of big catches. And then Brooklyn dropped a couple but ended up coming through with a late-game catch. And then D. Brown Jr., how good was he? He had two sacks, a forced fumble, and Billy Bugs got out to the quarterback as well. I'd say D. Brown Jr., to me, got player of the game. He definitely had a big game there. Kevin Knox had an interception, that game-sealing one as well. And then Jordan McLeod for them had two touchdown passes, one interception. I think they definitely missed Kelly Joyner in this one. He is definitely the superior running back. But Josh Jones didn't do too bad, 12 for 100, actually. And... Got to give it up to USF. They had a great season. Congrats on making the conference championship. So those two teams will move on to the ACC, and we find out who we will play in the bowl game, and it will be number 25, Georgia. So we play an SEC team here in our bowl game. It looks like Georgia. This will probably be a home game for them since it's in Alabama, pretty close to Georgia, and they will try to show the world that this was maybe a lower bowl they should have had a bigger one but they went three and five in conference play and this is what they get to number 25 of the nation and jt daniels is now a senior at quarterback 28 touchdowns five interceptions so this will be a tough game for us this week so hit subscribe hit that like button next episode will be the bowl game so stay tuned let's get it Let's go. I like money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bible in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah, this how we.